Tuesday night there was the Democratic debate. And unfortunately, you weren't here to watch it. Uh, she just got home uh, and hasn't had the opportunity to. It is recorded and ready for her. I'll be watching it. Unfortunately, you know, sometimes you gotta go make that money. So whenever I get called out of town, there's nothing I can do about it. That, so. that, that is correct. But I will be watching it. I'll have some input for her, you know, on it next week. Yeah. Uh, however, uh, I started watching it about 2.30 in the morning because of my work schedule. And love, 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 love the fact that I only had to watch one debate. <laughs> That's what I love most about this debate. I only had to watch one. So, uh, but the candidates were very, very different from each other. You had Clinton, who was, you know, who's the front runner right now. You had Sanders, the up and coming bulldog chaser. You've got O'Malley, who has the experience and probably the head to do the job. And you've got Webb, who has the military and foreign background like none of the other candidates other than maybe Clinton. Mm -hmm. Only difference is he's actually served. And we'll talk about his creepy comment about him serving. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, but uh, after that is Chase. And God love the man, because I don't. But th that's just my take on it. Now, um, again, she hasn't seen the debate, but you guys have. So I personally think that San if, if we went in order, Sanders won, then Hillary, O'Malley, Webb, Chamber. That's personally my ranking. And I can't rank them like that because there's not 17, 20, <laughs> 98 of them. I can say, you know, this is how it actually, in my eyes, was. So, Aaron, what did you what did you think of the debate? Anything that popped in your head or stuck out? And, you know, who do you think won in ranking? Well, when it comes to who won the debate, uh, I agree with you, and pretty much most of America agrees with us. So it's kind of tough to give uh, any other debate besides the fact that uh, Bernie Sanders won. Like I felt like he didn't necessarily win by over. Like by a landslide to me, apparently to other people he did. But to me, I felt like he just gave more factual points. He was comfortable with saying his actual plans, saying what he felt, and being not only real, but also being political and knowing what to say, what different policies and things like that need to be addressed. So I would agree it goes, in my opinion, uh, Bernie Sanders, Hillary Clinton, O'Malley, and then Chasey and Webb were tied for me because um, I felt Webb was just uh, way too military and didn't really know what he was talking about, didn't know policy, didn't really know politics outside of his own little military He seemed like he showed up to the wrong debate. Yeah. He meant to be at the Republican, Republican debate, yeah. But he showed up to the Democratic debate. Oh, he was like, a Republican candidate? They just, he just didn't it, make it? It would just, it would make sense if he was a Republican yeah. candidate. Yeah, it would. No, and I'm not saying it's a bad thing to be and a conservative Democrat. And I do want to say that, like, being a conservative or being a Warhawk Democrat, there's nothing wrong with that. But he didn't have really any Democratic values <laughs> that I could really pull from the debate. And I like Chafee, which is why I should give Chafee a bit of a pass. I feel like Chafee is a bit of an introvert. And for someone who's an introvert, it's very hard to get on a stage, even if you have all the knowledge in the world, and give a good argument just because you feel so awkward on stage. And I don't feel like that's his fault. That's just kind of who he is as a person. And I felt like Chafee came with some good facts, with some good knowledge. He just couldn't get them out fast enough with, or clear enough, which made him seem very weak in a debate. But I feel like if he had to sit down and write a policy plan, he would have one of the best policy plans up there. Okay, I can see that. Um, I have to disagree with you on Chafee. I'm sorry, Chafee, the only time he spoke well is when it, you knew it was rehearsed. You absolutely yeah. knew it was rehearsed. And Anderson Cooper shut him down with the first question. You've been a Republican, you've been an independent, now you're a Democrat, why are you here? Yeah. The very first question. And he's like, oh. Well, well, he said that I'm very, you know, I'm very stone cold or very, like, solid when it comes to, you know, my, he's my beliefs. He's like left him. Yeah. Well, not only that, but let's get something straight. Anderson shut almost everybody down with that yeah. first question. Yeah. He did it with Hillary, too. Yeah, exactly. 
And that's my biggest problem with Hillary is that I feel like she just says whatever it takes to get elected. And she kind of she kind of proved it in the debate, um, and that's why I think Bernie won. I, I think Bernie, of course, was the clear winner. Of course, overall, I think the Democratic Party as a whole was the winner, was the winner because oh, we yeah. actually had candidates that's who were talking about the issues. We were talking about what's going on, and it wasn't. He said this. How do you feel about that? <laughs> she said that about what you just said. So. What do you think? It was great and it had a lot of substance to it. Granted, it was very political, so a lot of people, I'm sure, probably didn't tune in like they did the, the Republican right. debate, but it was still a really good debate. Now, and, and the thing that was funny to me is almost every single candidate on the stage acknowledged that that's what debates are supposed to be for. Exactly. Especially yeah. uh, O'Malley, he was like, I am so happy that I'm up here in this debate and we're talking about the issue. Exactly. We're not talking about the stuff. Yeah. Another, yeah. So it's it's again, I think they as a whole collectively kind of attack the Republican Party, which is what you're supposed to do. Whereas the Republican Party tends to attack each other and devour itself, which ends up with a candidate who's been ripped to shreds, been through too many debates to hold up a decent debate against someone who's still fresh. Someone who's only going to do eight debates, you know what I mean? You've done 16, you know, you got to do six more. How fresh are you by the end of that? And I think that's what's really hurting the Republican Party and going to continue to hurt them when it comes to the debates.